This curb block will come out tomorrow because I'm recording ahead of time for your face. All right, it's a Friday morning. I'm very tired, <laughs> running on very, very little sleep, but uh, I, uh, well, I mean, I'm getting this done ahead of time. Uh, I'm actually going away for my very first vacation in a very, very long time. Uh, an actual vacation is, and I will not be doing any work of any kind for three days. Um, I'm, I'm going to be on the way to it uh, at the time that this video is going up. Uh, I'll tell you all about it on next weekend's uh, update, Kerblog. But in the meantime, uh, just wanted to go over some you know stuff I've been up to this past week. It seems like people like this format, so I'm going to keep up with this for a little bit and continue to see how it goes. I have some other uh, things I want to try, but I'll get to that at the very end. But nonetheless, all right. So first on the uh, on the agenda, uh, what I've been watching lately. Uh, of course, main thing uh, I did go see Deadpool two. Uh, really enjoyed it. I was a big fan of the first one. Uh, even though, of course, my uh, my heart belongs first and foremost to the MCU, uh, little you know, little little late. Oh, no, I guess it's not too late. You know, th this is this is related to uh, Mayorville in in some way, shape, or form. So you can kind of uh, semi count this as that. I didn't even, I didn't even remember that Deadpool two was coming out this month. So you know, screw me. Uh, but uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. It was interesting because it was uh, this one felt much more like it had uh, like, like it was it was driven entirely by like the story not, th not to say that the first one didn't have a story to it because it, it was quite interesting but i felt much more about like, like like it was all about like the gags and the comedy and stuff and this one it seemed like there was still like an important kind of theme and everything driving it uh, significantly compared to the first one um you know it, it was also kind of weird because like e even though of course uh you know colossus and warhead uh were in the first one um this this one felt like it was an X-Men movie that Deadpool happened to, like, be around for. Uh, you know, I, um, <laughs> I guess without going into too many spoilers... Well, I know, no, fuck it, whatever. I, if, you, I mean, if you haven't seen it, you know, spoilers beware. I guess that's just kind of how it's going to have to be for these. But, um, the, uh, yeah, it, I mean, and it was, it was interesting because at first, like, I thought, oh, you know, like, it's, it's, it's I guess, sort of related to the X-Men, uh, you know, movie continuity thing and all that but it's not really sort of and i mean even colossus is uh you know he's kind of his own separate character he's you know portrayed by, he's portrayed by a different guy he looks you know he's cg animated he's not the same dude that played him in the uh uh the, the other movies etc um but uh yeah no it, it was interesting to see like the other mutant characters that they utilized um juggernaut was a, a nice little uh, surprise. I, I had heard nothing about that ahead of time. That wasn't spoiled for me, so that was kind of cool to see that uh, and see him properly done as opposed to his, um, you know, very watered-down version, I guess, from the uh, from X-Men 3 The Last Stand. But, uh, yeah, lo really entertaining. Uh, I loved uh, Fire Fist, actually. He was kind of an interesting, uh, I guess, antagonist for this movie. Um, you know, it was funny because a lot of my friends, I think, went in thinking that uh, uh, Cable was going to be the bad guy, but I, I think just because I knew that there was a Deadpool and Cable comic where they're like a buddy cop kind of thing, I figured that he wasn't going to be the villain, uh, or the antagonist, I guess, at least. Um, but, uh, yeah, just Josh Brolin is, like, everywhere, swear to God. Like, I mean, there was some other movie he was in that was that, that was being promoted. I don't think he's in uh, Mission Impossible, the, the new one. Um, so I'm just like, oh, I'm seeing you everywhere. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds was fucking brilliant in this thing. Uh, apparently, he was also a big driving force. I think he was like, credited as a, as a writer and producer on this one as well, which was pretty cool. Uh, so major props to him and everything. Um, from what I understand, by the way, I think also uh, after this uh, X-Men Apocalypse, not, not Apocalypse, uh, X-Men uh, Dark Phoenix, I think is the last uh, movie supposedly that, um, uh, that Fox is doing in like the Marvel franchise or whatever. Uh, and then, you know, the rumor going around is that X-Men will be introduced in MCU Phase 4. I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, I'm not uh, necessarily hoping for that, actually, because uh, I, you know, I would kind of prefer them to be kind of in their own universe. and Maybe they could do something with that in and of itself and perhaps cross over different universes or something. But uh, shrug, who knows? We'll see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, Deadpool 2 is a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. Uh, it I mean, you know, if, uh, hopefully if you've seen it already because I've spoiled stuff. So sorry, but you know, whatever. Uh, take your friends to go see it if they haven't. <laughs> anyway, uh, in between other stuff. Um, I mentioned last week uh, watching a little One Piece stuff. Um, on the dub side, I just finished up the uh, most recent box set, uh, Season 9, Voyage 5, to finish up the Fishman Island arc. And uh, I got a little emotional, I, I will admit. 
Yeah, like I sh I'm sure I said last time, uh, the Fishman Island arc on, on this reviewing uh, several years later, I think has actually now become one of my new favorite arcs in all of One Piece, uh, regardless of how uh, you know, heavy-handed, uh, you know, or not, not heavy-handed, but the, I guess ham-fisted some of the uh, morals are and everything. Um, you know, I, I just really grew to like it. Even Horty, uh, who, Horty Jones, who I, I felt uh, the first time through was just kind of a boring villain. Uh, somehow, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. Sometimes the dub makes me like characters that I didn't like originally more uh, when, I, when I see them portrayed in English somehow. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what it is. It, it's not just performance, just something about like their character in general. I, I remember uh, another example that was uh, Hanya Ball in um, the uh, Impel Down arc uh, a few years before that. Um, in, in English, I was like, oh, I like this character. He's funny. Okay, it's, I, I've changed my mind now. But nonetheless, yeah, Fishman Island arc was fantastic. Um, the, yeah, the, uh, the scene with the blood, uh, the, the blood exchange between uh, Luffy and, um, and uh, Jim Bay. Uh, actually made me tear up. I don't remember if it ever did uh, when I saw it the first time or even in the manga, but just seeing it now, um, you know what I think it probably is, is also just like, because those kind of themes about like trying to transcend and, and, and uh, you know, beat racism uh, in, you know, where, in a place where tensions are very high, uh, that, that's something that I, I care very much about thematically uh, in stories in general. Uh, and I think that, like, just probably as my tastes have grown since I, I read uh, the Fishman Island arc in the manga originally, and then when I saw it the first time in the anime uh, in Japanese a few years ago, um, you know, I think that probably, like, it, it's, it has resonated with me even more. I'm sure it probably already did, but, you know, especially now seeing this. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. It was also uh, crazy because at the, towards the very end, of course, we had uh, the little preview of, um, you know, some of the characters from the Big Mom arc, uh, you know, with uh, Big Mom on the phone played by the amazing Pam Dotery, uh, who I'm a huge fan of from uh, Speed Graffer. She was one of the main villains in that. Uh, I hope in, you know, two, three years from now or whatever it is when they get up to doing that arc in the dub, I hope uh, that she will still do it because uh, I would love that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, and because, uh, uh, of course, my boy, uh, shout out to Chris Guerrero, uh, voice of, um, uh, of, of Neo Mutant from Tome. Uh, now playing his second character of significance in One Piece. He was Gecko Moria, and now he's Peckham's, uh, and is adorable and hilarious on him. And uh, David Wald uh, on uh, uh, Baron Tomigo. Oh, the irony. All these years later, you know, I, like, w accents have been extremely rare in the English dub for One Piece, uh, you know, since the olden days where they were just slapped onto characters at random. Uh, you know, and of course, once upon a time, uh, Kabaji from the uh, Buggy Clown Pirates. Uh, you know, was just given an unnecessary, out of nowhere French accent. And then, funnily enough, uh, when it came to Baron Tamago, uh, who speaks in Japanese with this like flavor of random French words interspersed into things, uh, they actually just straight up gave him a French accent uh, that was actually well acted. Sorry to the guy who played him in the Four Kids stuff uh, for Kabaji. Anyway, uh, that that was great. That that was really nice because I was actually kind of hoping that they would do that because it just made more sense to me. Uh, but I wasn't holding high hopes for it. Yeah, that was a nice little surprise. Um, yeah. So otherwise, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, I have started uh, over the last couple of days. I have watched the first two episodes at the moment of the Mob Psycho 100 Netflix series. Now I'm going to withhold judgment of it entirely. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, we'll see if I watch the entire thing because um, I do have some gripes. Um, I guess just to start off, uh, it's very cheap looking. I don't want to say it's amateurish, but it, it feels uh, like perhaps just slightly more budgeted than like say an episode of power rangers like you know not great on the effects the acting is very cheesy and over the top which you know that's that's fine you know it, it's still the story uh and you know it, it, even just for like i guess the novelty of seeing you know the story that i love uh portrayed in live action is kind of neat because it's very similar um you know so far i'm noticing the liberties they've taken have mostly been fine uh they seem to be kind of putting Subome, uh, uh, the object of Mob's affections, into sort of more of a limelight role in this version, which, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, you know, there certainly weren't too many characters uh, of the female variety in the show uh, and the original series in general that, uh, you know, got much attention anyway, so that, that's totally cool with me. Uh, Ritsu seems to be kind of in the background a lot more often, I guess, to establish him, as well as the uh, Claw villain guys. They're kind of like 
around ahead of time to establish them, which also is kind of cool. So I, I, I actually appreciate uh, some of those you know liberties taken. Now, what I don't appreciate, for instance, is uh, the liberty taken on the uh, what is my favorite scene in Mob Psycho, which is the scene where Mob and Reagan first meet each other. Uh, and they decided to uh, just have him straight up show that he has psychic powers like right away. And then Reagan has the talk with him, even though that kind of screws up his motivation for why he's helping him because he's a kid. And that was supposed to actually say a lot about his personality, I felt. So I, even though that, that scene is close to being one-to-one, -one, uh, that one little change that they added uh, kind of upset me a little bit because it, I felt wasn't quite true to his character. So uh, it was kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah, but uh, it's not making me want to, you know, just straight up quit. Like I'm, I'm enjoying it. All right. Uh, the actress that plays Tomei is hysterical and adorable and hilarious. Um, and, uh, also, uh, the, uh, at the end of the uh, end of the second episode with the, um, the LOL, uh, you know, cult meeting thing, uh, was pretty disturbing, actually pretty well executed in terms of like. Uh, actually being a little scary. <laughs> uh, so I can give it some credit for that. Um, I'll, I'll stick with it for a little while. Um, you know, if I, if I like it enough, I, I may continue and, and finish it up and then, you know, give my, my full fair thoughts. But so far, that's kind of what I think of it. Uh, don't spoil. I mean, you know, I'm sure it's probably still mostly an adaptation of what I've already seen, but just in case there's anything else different, uh, don't spoil too much else uh, for me in the comments, if you don't mind, but yeah. So that's what I've been seeing lately. Uh, not playing anything lately. Haven't had time to play any new games. Um, uh, working on stuff lately, though. Oh, let me tell you. All right, so a uh, lot of Tome stuff. I actually was really trying to play, uh, kind of do a lot of cleanup duty uh, this this week. Uh, in particular, I was trying to uh, get as much done as possible uh, ahead of time before I go on this little three-day vacation uh, for Memorial Day weekend and everything. And thankfully, I got uh, pretty much everything that I wanted to get done done. Uh, in this time, a lot of, uh, like I was saying, cleanup duty and like certain animations um, for, you know, a lot of uh, uh, certain boss characters and spoil spoilery related things uh, that I, of course, cannot show. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff on that done. Uh, over everything from overworld sprites to uh, talking avatars, uh, some uh, battle animations for a few things. Uh, still a pretty decent amount of stuff left to do on the you know the the more important like story related kind of characters. Um, but uh, yeah, we're making pretty good progress. I've gotten like a whole lot of stuff done for uh, the first three out of the four major chapters of the game uh, completed, uh, which is really nice. That's been coming along uh, quite nicely, so that's good. Uh, we also had uh, actually just the other day, a couple couple days ago from when this is coming out, a uh, very big uh, UI meeting. Um, my buddy uh, Kajit Western Durant, uh, who of course is um, one of our musicians, um, he actually works primarily in uh, UX uh, user experience, and uh, I'm works with a lot of uh, artists in UI. Um, so we have been working with him, and he has been incredibly, incredibly helpful uh, when it comes to planning out uh, how like, you know, the menu design and the, you know, different setups of those things for uh, how everything's going to go. Of course, we, you know, we had a lot of uh, work in progress versions of those things in the prototype demo, uh, but we're going to be doing some overhauls to some of those things. And there's also a lot of other stuff that we haven't even really teased or shown off at all. Um, so, you know, he's, uh, he's been a huge help with that. We had like a two hour meeting where we went over like as much material as possible ahead of time. And uh, even just like planning stuff. Uh, we hadn't even gotten to like the, you know, the nitty gritty of like exactly all the specifics that need to go into every single one. Um, but, uh, yeah, we had a whole lot to uh, get through. So that was really nice. And, uh, yeah, so I've, uh, and also kind of, uh, related, I've had a Kickstarter update go out, uh, kind of at the same time as this, but, um, or the, the day before this, I should say, but, uh, yeah, I uh, have gone ahead and I've prepared all of the rough animations for, uh, the next batch of stuff I'll be streaming, uh, the animation process for, which is the, um, uh, the monster enemies for uh, chapter four uh, of, uh, of the game. So that'll be the last kind of batch of those. And uh, kind of related, um, what, what I plan on doing, this is kind of just a brief overview of the Kickstarter uh, update in case you guys missed that. Um, so June is going to be a little on the crazy side because, of course, uh, uh, E3 and uh, Summer Games Done Quick are both happening uh, within the month. And I know that people will only be tuning into those things and not uh, watching me stream. So I will not be streaming uh, during the second and final weeks of June, but I will be doing it as soon as I get back from my vacation. Uh, I already have, uh, like I said, the 
uh, rough animations uh, plotted out. So I'll try to bust through, as mu the, through those as much as I can and then do some prep work on uh, what will eventually be the uh, last batch of like 30 or 30, between 30 and 40 uh, backer characters of the $200 tier uh, left that I have not animated yet. So I'll be probably tackling those in July. So yeah, look forward to that. Uh, I'm I'm gonna try to finish those that last batch uh, as best as I possibly can uh, between everything else I got going on, uh, including uh, speaking of which, other stuff that I've been up to. Uh, this week I had a lot of voice recording to do. Uh, I had a job like almost every day. In fact, I'm actually gonna be going to my last uh, gig of the week uh, right after I'm done recording this at the time. Well, and on Friday, uh, time travel. You got it. <laughs> um, I worked on a new uh, OKKO okay episode, uh, which was quite fun because actually this one was uh, the, the people that just happened to be in the session. It was just me and the three main characters, uh, Courtney Taylor, who plays KO, uh, Ashley Birch, who plays Enid, and Ian Cordy, who uh, plays Rad, of course. So it was nice spending some quality time with, uh, with the KO family and all that. Um, so I did, did a new one of those, of course, and uh, worked on a couple new video game projects, uh, including one of which uh, I still have a whole lot to do on a uh, bigger game. Oh, there was one that I finished um, in a single session, just like did a you know, bunch of little quick characters in. And uh, then another one that I'm working on right now where I'm one of the main characters in it and I've got quite a bit of material to go through and I'll, I'll probably be uh, doing even more of that, uh, you know, uh, as I get back home. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's exciting. I'm having a lot of fun uh, working on it. I can't say really much of anything about it, but uh, I'm yeah, I'm having a great time on it. I'm very proud of even just the work I've done so far on it. Uh, and I'm excited to be able to talk about that one this year. I've got, I, I, I might've said this last, uh, last vlog, but I, I'm, I've got a lot of cool stuff coming out that I'm voicing in this year, uh, particularly when it comes to video games. Um, there's uh, there's a number of them that are going to be coming out, I think within the year, uh, including actually, I believe Y2K is coming out this year, finally. Um, which I've been excited about for quite a long time too. Um, but yeah, so those are, uh, those are, so even though there's uh, nothing new to report on what you can hear me in right now on that, as far as that section goes, other than just, you know, Hunter Hunter is still airing. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot coming out uh, very soon, I think, uh, that you can hear me in uh, consistently. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much everything. I, I, again, I've been really liking this this new format, so I hope you guys are too. Um, you know, as I said, I'll be uh, off on vacation. I think I should, uh, if all goes as planned, I think I may actually be able to get right back into streaming again uh, next Tuesday uh, when I get back, because uh, I'll be back home, I think, by Memorial Day, uh, and then I can jump right back into working on some of the enemies and everything, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, uh, so a little quick thing I wanted to add to this, uh, if you've made it this far, I hope. Um, I wanted to uh, try a little uh, thing at the very end uh, to have a little new section, just, especially just in case, like, if they don't have, like, too much new stuff to report. Uh, I happen to have plenty to talk about this time. But um, in the comments below, if you have uh, any interesting questions to ask, they can be about anything, you know, favorite whatever. What did you think of this? Have you seen this thing? Uh, you know, uh, what, what's your favorite, whatever, you know, any, anything doesn't even have to be like, it doesn't have to be something that incites like an entire topic discussion, just like a question. And, uh, I think maybe at the end, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can try this for, uh, for next week. Um, I'll, I'll do a little like mailbag section, uh, just, you know, cause I, I, I did like the, uh, you know, kind of interactivity of, uh, you know, basing a lot of the curb blogs off of, uh, topic suggestions, but I felt bad that like, I, and there's still so many that I've been sitting on that like I haven't done. Cause like, well, for various reasons, I won't get, I won't waste your time with that. But yeah, I, I still wanted to have like input from you guys listening because you know I hope you give a shit and like this <laughs> at all when you're listening to it. But uh, yeah, so uh, leave some questions uh, or and, and also of course you know feedback and thoughts on Deadpool two and One Piece and Mob Psycho one hundred Netflix and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so thanks for listening. Uh, I'm gonna go enjoy myself and not work and try to not even be on the internet much while I go on this vacation because God knows I need it. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm treating myself. I swear to God, I promise. I'm, I'm actually trying to give myself a real period of relaxation for once in my life in a very long time. All right. So, uh, thanks everybody. Uh, have a wonderful weekend and a happy Memorial day and I'll uh, catch y'all next week. Bye-bye.